Toon Squad, how is everyone doing today? And welcome to day 24 of Vlogmas. Today it is Christmas Eve, and I thought I would start vlogging a little bit earlier today, since the last couple of days I've been vlogging at night. Today I thought, let's vlog in the afternoon. So it's almost one o'clock, and I'm going to make a coffee. And I'm going to use my new cold brew from Starbucks. I purchased this, you know, bottle of the Starbucks cold brew. And I was waiting for a day that I could vlog it. I was going to review it, but I thought let's bring it in the vlog. I think that would be kind of neat to show you guys a new product from Starbucks. So here it is. So today I'm supposed to go to my sister-in-law's for our Christmas. Our in-law's Christmas is today. And then tomorrow is my family. So we're getting ready to go. That's why I did my dishes this morning. So that way when I come back home, I got nothing to do. I got no dishes, nothing. <laughs> yes, my hairdo is kind of like all, all over the place. I'm going to get a haircut probably tomorrow or, or Boxing Day. <laughs> I look cool, don't I? Rockin' and rollin'. So, we're gonna make a coffee. I got my cup. Yeah, it's Tim Warren's, but, you know, I don't think, uh, I don't think I have a Starbucks coffee cup like this. Maybe I'll have to get one. <laughs> so, I'm gonna fill this with ice. I'm gonna fill it maybe halfway. Maybe halfway or a fourth of the way. I don't want too much ice in my cold brew. So, I'm gonna put some ice. I'm not sure what sort of creamer I'm going to do today. I think I'm going to do like a, a cold foam. I'm going to use my milk frother, not my Keurig. But I've been making a lot of drinks as of late with my Keurig milk frother. And it's been such an amazing thing to use. Uh, I've been making hot drinks, cold drinks. So definitely that's been helping. But I think I'm going to make a, a cold foam using my just regular, you know, handheld uh, milk frother. So we're going to put some ice and we'll pour some cold brew. I think that should be good. I'm gonna do a bit more. Yeah, I think that should be good. So now I'm sitting down. We got some ice in our cup. And the cold brew that I was talking about is this one. It's the Starbucks cold brew unsweetened. We're going to make this today. I'll open this up. I've never tried this. I actually seen this on Instagram. And I was trying to look for it for the longest time. They have Starbucks iced coffee, but they don't have the cold brew um, for most stores. And I actually seen this. I'm not even sure where I got this now. <laughs> I think I got this from... I think if I'm not mistaken, it was Superstore. So I couldn't find it for the longest time. I was so glad when I did find it, I was gonna pick it up. Cause I love cold brew. Cold brew is way different than uh, iced coffee. Cold brew is brewed with cold water and it's brewed for a long period of time. So it can range from 16 to 24 hours. From everything that I've read, it's supposed to be less acidic. So if you have a lot of stomach problems and you can't digest like coffee, try cold brew. It's less acidic and it's delicious. It tastes just like iced coffee, but to me, I think it's better. <laughs> so today's choice of creamer we're gonna use is we're gonna use pumpkin spice. I think pumpkin spice would work great. So we're gonna pour some in here and then we're gonna make our cold foam using our handy dandy milk frother. So I just wanna froth it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be delicious. So what a cool brew what you'd get at Tim Hortons is they would pour cream over it. So like this. So you see how that just transformed into something really good and it's delicious. So we're gonna put the lid on. Yeah. And one thing I like about, I like these Tim Hortons mugs. I wanna make sure that's properly closed. I couldn't, 
I lost the red uh, straw, so I got these, what is it, uh, glass straws. These are my favorite. I get them at the dollar store. So what you would essentially do now is just stir it. So the cream would mix into it. Oh, cheers. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. The cold brew is not as strong as iced coffee. There's a big difference in iced coffee and cold brew. Once you taste the cold brew compared to the iced coffee, you'll notice a big difference. You froth the creamer like I did with the pumpkin spice. It kind of makes it more creamier. And the cold brew is a smooth, rich taste with the cream. I would recommend the cold brew over the iced coffee. Iced coffee is still pretty good as well but the cold brew, it makes, it's a huge game changer. If you guys ever had cold brew, and which I'm sure you guys all had cold brew at some point in your life, it's a huge game changer. So I would definitely recommend the cold brew. It's delicious. Starbucks, this is fantastic. I mean, I wish you guys could send me something. <laughs> One thing that I've always gotten from Tim Horn, Starbucks is cold brew. Cold brew is just makes a huge difference. Nitro cold brew, even better from Starbucks, but I'll take what I can get, right? <laughs> <laughs> so cheers i hope you guys all have an amazing holidays an amazing christmas if i don't vlog more than right now then it's because i'm on my way to my sister-in-law's to have dinner so i do hope you guys will enjoy the remainder of this vlog whatever i choose to do right so nice coffee with me let's have a great holidays cheers been a very long day last time i vlogged was this afternoon uh, just before i left my sister-in-law's i made this iced coffee or i should say not iced coffee cold brew which was amazing and we left about 2 30 ish and i filmed the last part of the vlog was around 1 1 30 so it was like an hour later so we went to my sister-in-law's we went there early because she had to go to like her work Christmas party, which was around 8.30. So we left home around 2.30. We kind of spent a lot more time with, uh, with the family. So we had dinner, dinner was amazing. We had turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, and what else? Oh, she makes these sugar, brown sugar carrots, which was amazing, with gravy and dinner rolls. We all had an amazing meal and the dessert was amazing because I made it. I made blueberry cheesecake, which was phenomenal. It was really good. It was this jello pack that I got, I think a week ago when I went to Sobeys, I grabbed this uh, box and it came with the crust and the actual mix, which was phenomenal. It was blueberry cheesecake I ended up making. I originally wanted to make a strawberry cheesecake. That didn't happen, so. I had to get the blueberry. <laughs> so now I'm kind of peckish. I'm kind of hungry. So I thought I would make myself a sandwich. I know it's kind of late, but I'm so hungry right now. So I made a sandwich, a ham and cheese sandwich. This has mozzarella cheese and this ham that I got at Mercado's called Grandpa's Ham in the Net. Don't ask me about the name. That's just how it is. Uh, my older brother actually recommended me to try this. So that's what I'm having. with a Diet Pepsi or Pepsi Zero. So good. And of course, a sandwich would not be completed without chips. So, it's been a long day, but I am so glad that we had a fantastic day um, I miss Christmas when it's over. I'm one that don't want Christmas to end because it's a fantastic, like, holiday. <laughs> I love Christmas. Christmas is, like, one of my favorite holidays. I like Halloween, but I love Christmas. So, I wish it wouldn't end, but it is Christmas Eve. 
tomorrow's Christmas Day. It's going to be Christmas Day in about, I'm not even sure what time it is. But it's going to be Christmas uh, in about a half an hour, I think. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Because I can keep vlogging and vlogging and vlogging and talking to you guys. You guys know that. So instead of just keep on vlogging, I'm just going to end it. That way I can re-pick up the camera and start vlogging again. The next day so i'm gonna enjoy my my sandwich i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog if you guys did it show your support give this video a thumbs up and subscribe definitely ring that bell notification so that way you never miss a vlogmas please consider following me on instagram that's where i let you guys know what's coming up next i do want to thank you guys very much for watching definitely share this vlogmas with your friends and family and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow merry christmas and a happy new year peace out Ooh.